In Genesis chapter 9, Noah and his family have survived the flood, and God makes a covenant with Noah and with his descendants and with all living creatures. Here's what we see in verses 15 and 16. And I will remember my covenant, which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh. The waters shall never again become a flood to destroy all flesh. The rainbow shall be in the cloud, and I will look on it to remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is on the earth. So God makes a covenant, a treaty, a contract with Noah and his descendants and with all the animals, never to destroy the earth again with a flood. In fact, this covenant is still in effect today. It's unconditional. And the sign of this covenant, the reminder, is the rainbow. Now, God will eventually destroy the earth with fire, but not with a flood. In 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 10, Peter says this, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens will pass away with a great noise, and the elements will melt with fervent heat. Both the earth and the works that are in it will be burned up. So the heavens and earth will be destroyed by fire. But just as Noah was spared, God's people will be spared. All who have received Jesus Christ will be saved because their sins have been paid for. And the Lord promises us multiple times in Scripture that he'll never leave us nor forsake us. One may ask, what further proof do we have that things will end well? Well, consider this. In the final two chapters of the Bible, Revelation 21 and 22, we see a new heaven and a new earth, the new Jerusalem. This is referred to as the eternal state. That's our final dwelling place, with no sin in us, no sin around us, no tears, no death, and the continual presence of Jesus. And furthermore, we'll be experiencing the eternal glory of God. So if you're a believer in Jesus Christ, you have a bright future. Let's be those who walk with a sure hope. And no matter what takes place in this world, we will be with the Lord forever. Let's live life fully for Christ, knowing that he will never leave us nor forsake us. Thanks for listening.